As many as 70% of persons with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or asthma, do not receive a diagnosis of the condition. Identification of symptomatic patients with undiagnosed COPD or asthma might allow for preventive interventions and reduce the need for future acute care. A new trial evaluated whether early diagnosis of COPD or asthma, coupled with pulmonologist-directed treatment, could reduce healthcare utilization in patients with previously undiagnosed disease. In this multicenter randomized control trial in Canada, 508 symptomatic adults found to have undiagnosed COPD or asthma as part of a population-based case-finding study were assigned to receive guideline-based care from a pulmonologist and an asthma COPD educator or usual care from their primary care practitioner. The primary outcome, the annualized rate of participant-initiated healthcare utilization for respiratory illness over a one-year prospective follow-up period, favored the intervention with 0.53 events per person year as compared with 1.12 events per person year with usual care. For secondary outcomes, both trial groups showed clinically important improvements in disease-specific quality of life as assessed by the St. George Respiratory Questionnaire and in symptom burden as evaluated by the COPD assessment test at one year. The incidence of adverse events was similar in the two groups. The authors conclude that for symptomatic adults with previously undiagnosed COPD or asthma, pulmonologist-directed treatment led to less healthcare utilization for respiratory illness over one year of follow-up than usual care. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.